Hi guys, you are watching German Gyan. My name is Nidhi Jain and guys, today I am here with you for you with another video. I know the video was about to come on Saturday but due to some issue, uh, so another person was not available. So yes, today I am finally having the audio sessions of her. That's why today we have finally thought that let's do something because she's in Germany right now and thank you so much for giving this beautiful explanation of the answers because this video is so much demanding by all my GG family so without wasting time let's begin with the video so guys what will be happening in this video let me make it clear with you I am uh, she is in Germany and right now she has done uh, her masters and she is doing a job in Germany so she gonna help help you with the masters and the job questions Germany lockdown and everything in detail so I hope you wanna like it and love it and yeah let's go forward if you are new on my channel then guys don't forget to subscribe right now because subscribe is totally free so click the bell icon and yeah let's get into the video all the very best and do listen it very carefully she was not comfortable in a video session so that's why we have decided let's get into the audio sessions and so that my viewers my subscribers my family should of course listen it in a depth so yeah let's get into the video so the first question is first, the question is can you please introduce yourself that's who are you where are you from and everything hello all my name is Pavitra I did my bachelor's in engineering from India and worked in an organization from where I got interest towards project management and then I wanted to do masters in project management so then I started researching which university offers courses in English. Then I found Arden University as they were offering masters in project management. By God's grace, I got it. So now I finished my masters here in Germany and now I'm working here in Berlin. Second question, can you please tell me what is the current situation in Germany for the foreign student during the lockdown in Germany and all, can you please tell me? The COVID situation has not created any restriction for international students who are pursuing their masters. Students from different countries are still coming to Germany for their studies. I myself could see so many Indian students coming to Berlin for their higher studies. What is the right now current situation in the COVID time? How they should book their travel? How they should go and fly to Germany? So what are the rules and what do you say? Should they book their whole uh, like whole journey with the agency or they should do their own like master's admissions, job process and everything? Should they go to the consultant or not? What do you say? I took help from an agency for the visa process. Uh, if you don't have time or if you do not want to take up the burden going through the process, you can go for help from an agency. But what I suggest is it is better to do the visa process by our own. Uh, if the agency people miss to submit a document or if they do any mistake in the application and submit it in the embassy it will be a huge mess because i know a person uh, who did the visa application process through an embassy and sorry through an agency and the agency people instead of writing uh, 10 years of experience they wrote one so that person was denied of the for the visa so what i suggest is it is better to do uh, the visa process by our own. What type of question German embassy normally ask to the foreign students who are traveling to Germany? Can you tell me some of the very, very uh, important questions which may help my whole GG family? From my experience, it is really, really hard to get a visa appointment. So first try to book an appointment as soon as you get your acceptance letter from the university which you applied. The visa interview slots will be blocked for at least two to three months so it won't show immediately so what you should do is every day the slots will be refreshed at 12 a.m germany time it will be early morning 3 30 in indian time there will be few slots open during that time uh, try to keep alarm and wake up at 3 30 in the morning and book appointments or if you want to avoid the situation try to book the visa appointment once you know uh, for sure that you will get admitted in the university 
but please remember to cancel the appointment in case if you don't get the uh, admission or else uh, your passport will be blocked because it is a negative remark uh, you will not get any appointments in the future once you get an visa appointment the next thing is to open a blocked account to aid your financial things in germany there are two banks kotak and deutsche bank which offers offline service for opening blocked account and fintiba and coracle bank are the online service providers when i opened the blocked account it was uh, 8640 euro but now it is uh, 10236 euro it will be around 10 lakhs in indian money you have to deposit this amount in the blocked account and the account will be blocked so once the account is blocked you will not be able to withdraw any amount from the account you will get the money once you come to germany and open a bank account here the money that you blocked will be transferred to the bank account that you opened here in germany so you will receive a confirmation letter from the bank once you open a blocked account saying that so and so money has been blocked in your account this letter is very much important for the visa interview so the first criteria for visa is the passport the second is the acceptance letter that is your enrollment letter from the university and the third is the blocked account that is the confirmation letter from uh, from the bank saying that uh, this amount has been blocked this is to ensure financially uh, you can uh, serve in germany so these are the three major things that you need for the visa interview and the fourth criteria is you should give an flight itinerary that is you need to give interview tentative date uh, that you will depart to germany for which you don't have to book flight but uh, if you go to uh, emirates you have an option that is you can get an itinerary for 3 um, days for rupees 600 which means you might depart to germany any day in this 3 days so you can block your flight ticket book or block it all depends on you so please make sure you book a date once your visa is approved or else uh you might have to change the flight rates fifth is the travel insurance when you are leaving from uh, india to germany you require a insurance that is called travel insurance you can take this insurance from online also there are so many companies which provide this insurance what i took from uh, what i took was bajaj because that was the cheapest when i took so travel insurance is a must for the period of departure until you register yourself in germany and next is the health insurance which is mandatory in germany it is necessary for all who are in germany be it a student or a working professional everyone should have a health insurance here there are private and public insurance providers what i suggest is it is better to take insurance from public the public insurance companies are aok and tk you can fill Uh, the application form and send it to them after submitting the insurance application you will get a confirmation letter which is very important for the visa interview once you come to germany your health insurance account will be opened once you have all the required documents in hand then it is time for visa interview mostly the interview will happen in the morning please be there before 30 minutes or 1 hour of the booked interview time and please take all the documents in an order as it is mentioned in the checklist you will find the checklist when you book the visa appointment and don't staple the documents uh, because it may consume more time for the interviewer and make sure you take a uh, 3 to 4 copies of all the documents and please make sure you take the original documents as well uh, for the visa interview the visa interview will be very very simple the questions will be based on your decision for choosing germany as a place for pursuing your studies like why do you want to uh, study in germany why have you chosen uh, this particular course is there any relevance to your previous education uh, isn't this course offered by any other university uh in your country like how were you motivated to go to germany and also it the questions will be based on the course that you have chosen like what is the scope of your course and uh, what is the duration of your course like you should you should be able to say the starting and ending date of your course like how many semesters you have the, the uh, that, that is the course structure 
like how many uh, papers like how many subjects you will uh, study uh, for each semester and what is the uh, total hour uh, for the lessons per semester and the location of your university which you are going to study these are all the questions they will ask and what is the outcome that you will get like what is the benefit uh, that you will get uh, from taking that particular um, university like particular course and what is the course start date uh, you will get you will have this course start date in the end room letter so that was not a big thing and you should know the total cost of your study uh, per year you should be able to tell the total cost of the uh, tuition fees and you'll be asked how many modules uh, and what are all the modules the name of the modules that you're going to study in your course and the next question the important question is uh, the is the course completely in english so because uh, in germany the public universities most of the public universities have their course in german so this will be the next question they ask like is the course completely in english for which you should uh, be able to say if it is in english or german and the next question will be based on your financial status so they'll ask uh, how much uh, fund you have for your education like how are you going to fund your uh, studies for which you can show your blocked account status and uh, you should be knowing like how much money it is uh, is available the exact money the exact uh, amount that you have in your blocked account and if you have any sponsor you can mention uh, so and so person is sponsoring my education and this so and so person is earning this much uh, for which you have to uh, show the document uh, for the income of your sponsor and also research some basic facts about your university have some basic knowledge about your university also uh, basic knowledge about the country that you're going to study that is the country germany um, what are the tourist places in germany and what for they are famous and how many borders are there in germany and what are all the bordering countries and how much it is cost to live in the expensive cities in germany also what are all the expensive cities you should know what are all the states in germany the capital of germany of course and last but not the least uh, please provide your ielts scores and also speak about the results that you have achieved uh, on your ielts uh, examination next question is very very important and of course super demanding as a foreign student as a student from india as a foreign student how was it to catch up with a like with the german public good universities like there are a lot of opportunities so it was easy for you how you have cap up please do let me know and my family and my gg family that what are the exams which are required for learning and as a foreign student so basically you can use a website called dad.de which has the list of all the german universities it is a website provided from the german government where you can find almost everything about the university and how to apply for the course and everything so you can use filters to find out which university you want to go for for example if you want your course uh, to be in english uh, when the course should start or what related course you want to do uh, is it related to automobiles or is it related to electronics or whatever it is um, based on which you will get uh, at least 10 to 15 colleges the courses uh, in each college will have different requirements so you have to go through the requirements uh, from the university list and also the tuition fees the basic requirements will be you should have a bachelor's degree uh, relating to the course that you are choosing and select second will be your TOEFL or IELTS course when I came the cutoff marks for IELTS was 6.5 and for TOEFL it is uh, 90 and these criteria for the cutoff marks will be changing yearly so please check the websites while you're applying and the third is your bachelor's degree credits and work experience the work experience completely depends on the university so uh, for some university uh, they require at least one year, one year of work experience and some do not require any work experience so it completely depends on which university you are applying for and next is the document submission for document submission there is a website called UniAssist it is a government organization you have to send your documents to UniAssist 
they will verify the documents and after evaluating your document they will send the documents to the university that you have chosen for which they will charge some money so it is not free of cost for the first application it is 75 euro and for all the consecutive applications they will they will add extra 15 euro to it, to it so for the first application it is 75 euro and for the and for second application it will be uh, 15 euro extra so it will be around 90 euro and for the second applica uh, third application it will be uh, extra 15 again so it will be uh, in total it will be 105 euro so we will add extra add 15 euro for each and each applications uh, and the uni, uni assist service is not mandatory for all the universities the universities will uh, mention it in the requirements if they need the documents only through uni assist if the course that you are choosing is taught completely in English then you have to submit uh, the proof of your IELTS or TOEFL exam results or if your course is completely taught in German uh, then you have you are required to submit proof of proficiency in the German language so there are two main tests available for this purpose uh, one is the Deutsche Sprachprüfung für den Hochschulzugang uh, DSH meaning a uh, German language examination for university entrance and the next is the test DAF test which means test Deutsche als Fremdsprache which means test of German as a language uh, as a foreign language so these two these are these are the two tests uh, if you, if your course is uh, taught in German that you have to take very 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 demanding question that as a foreign student if you are living there so how is the living purpose how is a living condition is there in germany and what about the costing how much cost it go for the rent how much cost you save as a like a person and everything can you please tell me in detail because this question will help everyone so deeply who are planning for germany in germany there are so many online sources to find accommodation like uh, WG Gesucht, Immobilien Scout and so many and also there are various Facebook groups where students post if there are any available places for rent. It will be much better if you start applying for accommodation from India because like you there will be so many students applied so you might need to wait for some time to get a reply. Uh, when you are in India try to apply through this website www.wg uh, de. you have to write an email to the house owner and uh, you will get a response from the house owner either through email or phone so generally when you are in india they will only send email so once you get a email confirmation you might be asked to visit the place you applied for so once you come to germany you have to pay the deposit money uh, there are two types of rent uh, one is cult meter uh, which is a rent uh, without any additional cost like water electricity uh, or heating nothing it is only the rent uh, for the room uh, and not the additional cost will be included in it and the warm meter uh, which means it is a uh, it, it is inclusive of all the uh, other prices like it is cult meter plus additional cost you can ask the owner about the rent system before you go for the contract also there are so many scams happening so you have to be careful while uh, you are paying the caution deposit when you are applying from india some owners may ask you to pay the caution deposit they will insist you to transfer the money for caution deposit when you are in india so please do not transfer money in that case tell them that you will pay the money only after visiting the house in person this kind of emails are mostly scams and the owner the house owner will be a different person and the person who gave ad in the website will be a different one these people post some photos of some random houses and ask for money so as we cannot check the houses in person when we are in india to avoid these kind of scams make a strong statement that you will only give the payment uh, when you visit the place in person 
also one important thing when you come to germany if you are paying deposit in cash please get a receipt from the house owner when you are leaving the house the caution deposit amount will be given back to you so if you do not have the bill you might not get the entire money go to this website type the location where you want to get an accommodation uh, you will get a list of rooms or houses which are vacant you have to go to this website and apply Uh, for how long you want the room for example uh, it is for six months or one year the first thing that you have to do when you come to germany is city registration this is the information that you are giving the government that you are staying in so and so region to do this you have to go to rathaus which is nothing but a municipal corporation in india you have to book an appointment for the registration and fill in all your details in the application and submit it in the rathaus You have to take your passport and also your house contract when you go to Rathaus for submitting this application. This is the basic thing as a student you have to do when you come to Germany. Monthly expenses for me were very less during my initial days when I came to Germany. I did not have any part-time jobs, so I I have to spend uh from my blog account. So I was spending very less. The major expenses were uh, number one the house rent. If you take Berlin. A normal private room will cost around four hundred euro to five hundred euro. If you are lucky enough, you can get for three hundred euro also. When I was a student, I was paying two fifty euro. So yeah, and the second is the monthly insurance. The insurance is quite expensive in Germany. It will be deducted directly from your account. Uh, it is roughly from ninety euro to hundred euro. And the third is the most important thing: food. Uh, these are the three major thing you need to spend and food expenses completely depends on you my expenses for food will be maximum 100 euro per month uh, my advice is if you do not know cooking it is better you learn some of the basic cooking before you come here uh, that will help you to save a lot of money and the fourth is the travel card Some universities offer free travel card that is the semester ticket which gives you unlimited use of local public transport but uh, if you are go, uh, going to pursue your studies in private universities you cannot avail these privileges so you have to buy your own uh, travel card for berlin the monthly ticket is around 80 euro it depends on the city which you are uh, which you are going to stay the total expenses so uh the in total the expenses would be around 600 euro uh when i was a student i was uh spending uh, for a month uh around 500 euro okay again one of the most demanding question in fact the proper detailed video is also coming up from my side i think so next week or maybe the next week so the question is here for you that What are the part-time jobs you can find in Germany and how much you can earn from that what types of jobs you can find it out please do let me know little bit about it part-time jobs first let us understand what are all the rules and regulations for part-time jobs in Germany when you come to Germany for studies you will be in student visa when you are in student visa you have 120 full working days or 240 half working days to do jobs also Uh, remember when you have classes during your semester uh, you can work only 50 hours per week that is the maximum uh, hours you can work uh, during your semester you have to follow these rules and regulations compulsorily in germany the payment for part time jobs will be based on per hour so you will get uh, paid for how much hour you have worked according to german government rules if a company hires a person for a job the company should pay minimum of 9.35 euros to 9.50 euros per hour this minimum wage will increase depending on the location that you are working uh, for example munich uh, compa- comparing to Germ- uh, berlin munich uh, wages are a little more higher to me i classify the part time jobs in three different groups first is a mini job if you are earning less than or equal to 450 euro per month in a part time job then you do not have to pay the ta- income tax for that money you are earning uh, these kind of mini uh, jobs are called mini jobs and second is the student jobs in university uh, in university you can work in library for part time or you can work under a professor the professor might give jobs like creating presentations or doing research for a program and things like that 
the part time jobs doing in your university sometime might uh, be related to your studies it could also help you with your studies uh, if you could not get a uh, part time jobs in university you can also search jobs outside and third is the odd jobs uh, you can search jobs uh, in restaurants uh, also jobs in supermarkets like building uh, like working in a factory assembly or doing courier delivery or food delivery jobs like uh, like this there are so many uh, jobs available find information uh, about these part time jobs through university notice boards or friends who are already working can refer you or the best thing you can uh, do is search in google for example websites like www.studentjob.de and www.nabenjobs.de uh, if you visit this website you will get an idea of how to find a, find or apply for part time jobs uh, for these uh, part time jobs it is not mandatory to know german fluently but uh, you can get more opportunities if you know german but still with basic german and english you can manage with the part time jobs here also if you go to these kind of part time jobs you can easily earn uh, 50 euro minimum also i want to mention uh, you are coming here to germany for studies so you have to be careful with your studies and your part time job so you have to manage the both so please be cautious okay guys this is again a very very important question please do let me know that why nowadays people are planning to fly to germany to go to germany to shift their self to germany for masters why can you tell the why what are the most important reasons behind that because people are traveling people are aware of that but most of the people who are not aware i want them to get it aware because germany is an amazing option to choose let's know the answer from you we will get to explore europe besides studying living in the center of europe provides you with an opportunity to travel across the continent the german student visa would allow you to travel to 26 countries without restrictions you can reach a number of destinations within a couple of hours by train or plane we have a wide selection of travel destinations that you can reach within a couple of hours by train or plane weekend trips are easy to plan and really affordable and after completing your degree in germany you can stay in the country for up to 18 months to look for a job related to your qualification germany provides excellent job and phd opportunities germany has one of the least unemployment rates for graduates and the eu according to a uh, study germany is likely to face a shortage of 3 million skilled workers by 2030 this means there are more job opportunities at the studying in germany germany is considered to be one of the most popular destinations among international students because it holds the top position for students in the european union also more than 12% of students at german universities come from abroad germany has so many positive things to consider if you want to choose to study in germany based on my experience as a student who has studied in germany i can share the reasons why i chose studying in germany germany has world class quality education whether it is automobiles or education all around the globe people recognize made in germany has a very high quality and german university degree is highly respected by employers around the world and also germany has many top universities in the world germany has about 44 universities in the world uh, university rankings which is more than any other country german public universities has no tuition fees the most important reason for studying in germany is that most courses at german public universities have no tuition fee but you will need to pay a semester contribution of 250 euros depending on the university the services or benefits included in that course uh when you take canada us or uk the average tuition fee will be around 18000 dollars whereas in germany you get an overall tuition fee uh, of about 650 dollars also the students get more funding option although students don't have to pay tuition fees and receive a ton of benefits here various means of funding are available to students to cope up with living expenses like uh, that scholarship and part time jobs known as kivi for research assistant or work student for part time jobs in the company part time job opportunities also exist in restaurants supermarkets etc 
and you will get taught in english which is a very good news for those who don't know uh, any german or if your german isn't good enough uh, at many courses and degree programs are offered in english especially at master's degrees master's uh, degree level according to the dart website there are over 1570 courses that are completely taught in english okay so the last but not the least question for you is if you want to give some advice to all the my gg family that if somebody is planning for germany for studies or for jobs what do you give as a suggestion to them please guide them please learn german language whatever plan you may have for the future learning the german language will always be beneficial and open doors to many uh, job opportunities german is the world's fourth most popular language living in germany would provide you an easy way to learn the language but when you plan to come to germany at least complete uh, a2 before coming thank you so much for answering me a lot of questions which are the most important questions thank you so much i just love this this q and a session with you it was amazing to have you on my channel thank you so much uh, please take care and be safe be safe at your home be safe in germany everyone to all my gg family guys please stay at your home be safe if you are going outside in a emergency case wear double double mask that will help you take regular streams take a lot of things which you can get it out in fact i will be putting one link in description if you want any help for the oxygen cylinders or anything go for that and of course it will help you so thank you so much for joining uh, in this video and thank you so much for answering all the questions lots of love to you guys and i love you guys thank you so much please take care stay at home and Take care of your families and keep learning German with German Gyan. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. And guys, I'm planning uh, to make videos in Hindi also because so much, so many people of you are demanding that why not to make the in Hindi. So yeah, I'm planning that I, in the whole one week I will I will be putting three videos. One Tuesday live session, then on Saturday one new video, and I think so on Thursday I'm planning to make a Hindi Q and A sessions. So what do you guys have a uh, thought over that please do let me know in comment section and if you have any request for jobs uh, any request for video please do comment in the comment section and i will be super happy for you all so thank you so much please take care bye bye and keep learning german with german gyan cheers